Hi there, it's Peter here. You're watching the GreenSock 101 free online course for front-end developers and designers where you can learn a lot about GreenSock API and web animations in 60 minutes. In this video, you will learn how to position twins on the timeline, how to use the labels, relative and absolute positioning. In the previous video, we covered how to overlap twins with the previous twin. This is something called relative positioning of twins on the timeline, okay? So we're taking them wherever they are on the timeline and we're moving them by offset using z minus equals or plus equals. So if we take the second twin and instead of minus, we write plus equals and let's say one second, this is like adding a delay on the twin. So the first twin will run, then this twin will wait one second and then it will start playing. All the other ones will complete as previously. So if we refresh the page, we'll see first animation, then one second delay and the rest of the timeline continues. You can also use something called absolute position of twins on the timeline. If we take the image and instead of minus 0 0.15, we write three, this image twin will run at the three seconds mark. So the timeline will play and when it hits three seconds, this image will be animated in. So if I refresh the page, we've got the heading one intro image three seconds in and all the twins following. Okay, this is something called absolute position. So if we take the last two twins and we'll make this two and two and a half, we'll see that the H2 will come into the view two seconds into the timeline, followed by the list items and then the image at the end. If I refresh the page, we'll see H2 coming in, list items and then the image, okay? So the order is no more following the order of the twins in here because we're including them in an absolute position. I recommend you to include the twins on the timeline first and then use the relative positioning to place them where you want. I've reset all the offsets to minus equals 0 0.15, but we'll remove it and we'll learn how to use labels. Okay, to add a label to a timeline is very simple. We'll just chain it as the twins by using dot add and inside of it, we'll write a label name. Okay, so this is now this is now adding a label intro onto the timeline and we can reuse it and place some twins at that position. Okay, it means that this H2 will now fade in when the intro, when the playback of the timeline hits the intro label. Okay, so if I refresh the page, you'll see that the heading two starts at the same time as the intro. Okay, because it's now connected through the label. We can reuse it on multiple twins like this or we can add some extra duration extra delay on top of the label intro plus equals three seconds this means that the twin of the h2 will happen at the intro label plus three seconds on top of it okay so h2 intros in a view and three seconds later the H2 comes in. We'll keep exploring the GreenSock API in the following video, but if you want to download the working files and follow me step by step, and also watch the whole course without the annoying YouTube ads, then hop onto my website and sign up for free. The link is in the description, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.